tell me, what are you currently reading? Okay, well, uh, I brought along the books that I am actually reading at the moment. One of them is this, uh, this book, the, the York Mystery Plays. Ooh. Back in 14th century York, Old York, that I is, know Old York. in the north of England, they began to do this cycle of passion plays about the life of Christ, where each of the merchant guilds, the butchers, the bakers, like the candlestick makers, they would, they would all do an episode from the, from the Bible. And they would put it on a big cart, and they would move the cart around the city, doing the play at different spots. And some of the texts of that, of those plays, from this is 200 years before Shakespeare came along, they still survive. It's hard work, but it's, uh, it's worth it. What makes a book great? What elements do you value most? I think it's time that is the raw material that a writer really uses to, to craft a book. Uh, the passage of time, the, the way that a, a book becomes a kind of a second life for the reader, a second pulse beating away there. I think the thing that unites um, books across genres and across styles is, is the sincerity of, of the writer. If the writer really seems to believe in, in what they're doing, you know, you can tell when you read a book, whatever kind of book it is, whether it's, it's some um, vampire novel or, or it's, it's the great American novel or the great British novel, you can tell whether the writer is just in it for the money or, uh, or the fame or whether, quite apart from anything else they might want, they really want to tell this story, that it's like it's there and they're bringing it out of themselves. Uh, it's, it's an obscure quality, but I think it's, it's the one that unites all great work. Why is censorship so dangerous? This is a democracy. This is a, a place which, which values freedom, freedom of expression. Uh, what can be more sinister than to start uh, saying to people, you cannot read what somebody else has said, you are not allowed. You cannot judge for yourself uh, what is what is right, what is wrong, what is, what is interesting, what is uh, truthful. Uh, let, let the people decide, let, let the readers decide. And if they are shocked, if they are disturbed, if they're haunted, why is that a bad thing?